those of you that are going to be coming in on my YouTube channel, you are most welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe to this video. The subscribe button is below this video and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Thank you so much for joining me on YouTube. And today I just want to come on and share something from Psalms 141 verses 3 to 4. Psalms 141 verses 3 to 4 and let me just read it for you. I'm going to read it in the Amplified Bible and it says, Set a guard, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Incline my heart not to submit or consent to anything, to any evil thing or to be occupied in deeds of wickedness with men who work iniquity and let me not eat of their dainties. Set a guard, O Lord, before my mouth. You know, when I was younger and I remember we lived in this house and my mum had this fireplace. My mum used to have this uh, fire guard and she used to put this huge fire guard around her coal fire for two reasons. One, was to stop the coal from falling out and the second thing was for us not to go near the fire and touch it so that guard had a twofold purpose you know this by this scripture is setting is telling us to set a guard it's asking god to help us to keep a watch over our mouth to keep a watch over what we say and you know for the last year or two this word has really uh, been ministering to me because there have been many, many situations where I have had to watch my mouth. That if I had blurted out something, it would have had lasting consequences. Because when you say something or you speak something, whether it's negative or positive, the, the, the words have a lasting impact. I've had a number of people come up to me and say, oh, I remember when you shared this word with me and it really encouraged me. Or I read your blog and your words were so powerful and they really helped me. You've been really encouraging. And, you know, we, we take for granted the words that come out of our mouth. And my challenge and encouragement to you today is for, to, for you to pray and ask the Lord to set a guard out of your mouth, that we will be careful what we say, that we will think before we say. There's a couple of people that I, that I, that I know that if they ask me a question or they're talking about something um, and they ask me what I think, I think very, very carefully with the way that I respond to them. I think about my words before I respond to their question. And I find myself doing that same thing, you know, increasingly with a number of people because the Bible says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And we have to really, really be careful the words that come out because there's a, there's a lot of people that will just say it and then they think after. But by then it is too late because the word has already left your mouth and it has already made an impact on the hearer's mind, on their heart or on their spirit. So we've got to think about what we say. I know personally some words that were said to me that were negative years ago, 30 years ago. I still remember that word. <laughs> And I still remember the way the person said it. I know where the person was. It's not that I hate that person, but the way how they said those things to me with such venom, it, it's had a lasting impact. And you have to go through stages of forgiving that person and really asking God to help you erase the impact of those words on your spirit. So I just want to challenge you today to think before you speak. Put a filter on your words. Is the word that you're going to say, is it going to be helpful? Will it build the person? What kind of impact will my word have on this individual? Think before you speak. And when I go to situations, even when I go to work or, you know, every day I ask God, God, 
help me that my words will be impactful. If I'm going to get into a situation where I'm going to use, where I'm going to have to speak words and I'm going to fly off the handle, Lord, redirect that situation, change that situation, or give me the right words to be able to, in, to speak to that person or to be able to speak into that situation. Or if there is nothing that, that needs to be said, then help me to keep my mouth shut. Because words have impact. Your words can build relationships or break them down. Your words can uplift or they can destroy. Think about the power of your words. Ask God every day, Lord, set a guard, a protection, you know, a barrier before my mouth. Help me. Even when I'm interacting with somebody, I say, God, help me. What can I say? This is what I'm saying in my heart. What can I say to that person? Give me a response. Your words are powerful. So that's my challenge and that is my encouragement for you today. So wherever you're going to go into today, be at work or you're interacting with family members or you're organizing your business or you're organizing an event, just whatever you are going through today, go into today asking God, to be a guard over your mouth, to give you the right words to say, the right actions, even to, Lord, help me that my body language will not convey the wrong message. Just commit yourself to the Lord today so that today will go well and that the guard that he has set over your mouth will indeed be a protection for you. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to take a look at the link in my Periscope profile. And if you head over to my YouTube channel, please make sure that you subscribe over there and turn on your notifications. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next broadcast. Okay, God bless and have a fantastic day. And don't forget to ask the Lord today as you pray, as you leave your house, as you get out of your car, if you're going into a meeting, ask the Lord to set a watch, a guard over your mouth. Okay, God bless you. Bye.